Hello everyone, we are back with Ben Jen's Architects of Tomorrow. Find ourselves up against Wizard. This is the competitive lobby, so you'd expect it. Uh, <laughs> did I go to Worlds? No. Nah. So apparently as soon as you enter the competitive lobby, it's expected that you go to Worlds. Uh, this opening hand has plenty of campaigns and things like that. Um, but not enough ice, I don't think. And against Wizard, things will get trashed pretty easy, so I think we throw it back. And this hand isn't much better for us. So, we can stick out an Ichi somewhere. It's not that great for us. Um, I think we're putting this on HQ and just crediting up. Not great, not the start we wanted. And if they run here, we kind of have to just let them in. Okay, well, we survived at least. So, hedge fund is good for us. Jackson doesn't do a lot for us at the moment. Uh, we can stick Ichi. It's not going to be great here. So I think we put it on R&D. Really, I don't want to res it just yet. Even though we get Eli for free. But I think we hold off and we're hoping to be able to set up a campaign pretty quick. Another Ichi, <laughs> not, not what we want. So let's draw two. Let's try and draw into some decent dice. We got another Ichi. And we could fire the scarcity resources. It wouldn't be all that bad. Um, chances are they do want to do something. So let's do that and let's get rid of the food for the moment. Hopefully they don't just have a rumor mill ready to go. Because if they do, we'll lose Jackson two points and our current. All of which would be pretty bad for us. So we want a piece of ice like Eli. Um, we will shuffle back the two, I suppose. Something to end the run. Mimic is not going to help them, so we want to be able to surprise them with this, which is where our ability will be a little bit dicey. Um, draw. Marcus is good. That'll do the job, and we'll put the Adonis in behind it. If they run, they can get through here and trash. Then we'll stick an each on top and put the other Adonis down. Presumably this is going to be like a Ice Carver data sucker build. So our Adana stays. They're not giving us the, the free ice anyway. But Parasite comes down. Okay. And NAPD arrives. Not great for us either. Uh, let's put this here just to prevent the kill for a little while. And credit up. Unfortunately, we can't res this as a surprise. And it's all about the, the element of surprise. So they're all about keeping us poor. We can res here, it gives them free access. But if we don't, they run through here and trash everything. So I think we force this. And we'll get to trace them for one. If they pass, we'll get our Eli for free. Hmm. So they didn't continue the run, but they did break everything. So I'm not entirely sure of the timing. I really need to look that up. We get a batty as well. So we'll put that into the server. 
and just crud it up a little bit more. Now we can afford to purge because we have this Adonis ticking away nicely. Faust. Of course. So Fairchild is a great piece of ice. Ichi is also great, but very too expensive at the moment. I think we purge, ditch the Ichi, and just sit tight for a moment. Now, unfortunately, with Faust, they can get through anywhere. Katie Jones taken away nicely as well. So obviously they have big plans ahead. And we may get to see it very, very soon. Hmm. They're preparing for their power turn. Obviously just waiting for us to install something here. I think instead we're going to take money, install this on R&D. And we could install the Adanus, force them to come for it as a tester, but it leaves our HQ quite exposed and quite valuable as well. And do they have cutlery to make things worse? Obelus, that's a, that's a good call. So they are indeed coming through. Uh, we can res the Fairchild. And they get the beta test. Would have preferred to keep that, obviously. But what can you do? Put this ice on HQ is probably the answer. Um, I suppose I res this. And we can purge again. I don't love it. Again, it leaves them a free turn. But what do we do instead? I think we purge here. And we need to get this onto our scoring server here as well. The campaign economy does slow things down a bit. That's why you'll have seen some engineering in the future has gone with a uh, much more event-based. It's very bursty, gets you up fast, and of course with Wizard everywhere at the moment, uh, campaigns are not what you want to be ticking away and depending upon. Because against other runners, you might be able to install this kind of blank or a bit raw. Uh, not so in this case. So let's uh, draw up, draw some more, and let's install this over here. So we really need the, really need the Adonis to run out for us. Well, they're sticking down the medium. Yeah, and spoon. That is really, really good for them. So that was the discussion yesterday. It was uh, does uh, does it count as tra or does it count as passing if you destroy it? And I think we all agreed upon that it dies first, and obviously then you can't pass it because it is gone. And now we're broke again. But at least we can make them double click to get through the trash. And then 
trace three, which isn't bad. We can't afford to boost. But at least it keeps them somewhat honest. And now we get to raise something. And they get a beta test again. Oh dear me. So let's put Ravana on R&D and credit up. Not exciting. But I think it has to be done. So we've gotten decent change out of uh, this identity ability. But now Wizard can start turning the screw. Has the breakers they need. Not a lot of draw. Obelis is very much it. But I think they have enough to just uh, start working away. So we could not res here. Get us up to seven, but we need to be able to draw an agenda is the issue. Of course, once they break this, we can get this up for free as well, so might not be well that bad. So it's a decent uh, R&D server. But we have to be able to survive this R&D lock now as well. So we can stick the NAPD in behind. Might not be all that bad. We have an in the run if we need. If we need, uh, we can also use Batty on Ichi. Take out Faust, maybe. And they're not flush for cash either. So let's install there. Uh, advance by one and take a credit. Well, as you can see, even with two campaigns that ticked away nicely, we're we're a bit stuck for cash. The engineer in the future credit really, really adds up. And also means you can threaten a biotic labor score from just six credits, which is always nice. And of course, there's a chance that this is a food that we hope to biotic labor out. That is something that you have to take into account. Especially because you don't see a lot of NAPD contracts these days. It could probably be taken off the most wanted list. But it seems we're just going to have more additions than removals at this stage. Unless it's something like Astro, which you just can't play much anymore. You get one, and that is it. So, money up, and running here. Let's, uh, let's fire a batty. And let's go for two. Sweet. So let's trash a program which will be Faust, of course. Medium's also tempting, but Faust kind of shuts them down for a little while. And now they're going to have to spend quite a bit of money to get through. And then it's brain damage or end the run. Uh, brain damage is good, especially against a Faust deck. But I think we have to end the run here. Uh, 
At least now we can archive for Batty again. We can stick it onto R and D, which might not be a bad idea, because as we've learned in the past, they can just kind of click through stuff, and that causes us all sorts of issues. So let's get this out the door. And I think we want the Ravana more than we do the Ichi. For now at least. Uh, the Ravana at least can act as an end the run. Which Ichi cannot. Hmm. But now they can just do the, the clicking through everything, which hurts. So next turn they can click through here again. So I guess we are taking credits and installing Ravana. So they're coming again. How many more spoons could they have? They could, of course, have a couple of deja vus, maybe same old things. Um, I think we need to res this. It bankrupts us, but at least they have to spend clicks. And maybe wise to purge this as well. Because not only does it put us under all sorts of pressure and R&D lock us, uh, but it also gets them card draw. So, if we put something over here, they can't really run it. We also can't afford to score it. If we were injured in the future, though. <laughs> Maybe the Jackson is a better install. Because then we can shuffle back our campaigns, hedge fund, some ice. And maybe they'll be tempted by it. Because if we put the Vitruvius over, we could put it there, but we can't score it. And then it's just kind of sitting there. And if we can draw into something like a launch campaign, we want to be able to use that as soon as possible. Same old thing. So expect a spoon any day now. Here's a subliminal, at least. Uh, so, we can do this. I think we shuffled things back. Let's go with... Launch campaign, uh, gamble, and... I want Adonis, but I also want... things that'll stop them. I think Ravana. Uh, let's put this into the server, see if they are willing to run it. Hopefully we've caught them just enough. Maybe I should have left the Ravana actually for archived. I was more tempted to use it for the batty. So at least this Fairchild is protected from a same old thing spooned. This one, however, <laughs> is not. And sure enough, they are coming for it. So, I think we... I think we keep taxing their spoons. We can archive for Ravana. Put it up there. And take a credit. Meanwhile, poor Vitruvius is sitting over here just waiting to be scored. So they're thinking we must have something good in HQ. Thankfully, they're just going to see 
three biotic labors. And we might as well get the this rest for free. Take advantage of that economy means we can score to Vitruvius at long last. And another Faust comes out. Uh, yep, let's take this for free, and I suppose let's score this out. So thankfully they haven't gotten too much out of Obelus and Medium, but it is always threatening. And I would Faust back on the table. They can go for it again. But Ichi is keeping us somewhat safe, provided we can keep something in front of it so that you can't just uh, click through. We've seen one the same old thing. Two of these, they probably have a deja vu or two, especially when you're playing Parasite. Yeah, they, m they must think we have something in hand. But yeah, they're, <laughs> they're going to see a lot of biotic labors, which means they're going to get a little bit worried when we get to seven credits. But that could take a while as well. You're spooned. So can we get our hands on another code gate to stick out here? We can, but it's a very dangerous game to do it. If we install here, it brings us down to one credit. We can credit up. They can spoon here. We'll be able to res this for two credits. It's dicey, but it keeps us somewhat safe. So we know they have spooned, they know they have spooned. And here it comes. So we're not going to raise the Fairchild, obviously, because they have three clicks to use. We'll let them spoon this. Oh no, wait, we won't get to raise this for free. Because presumably they will jack out here. Maybe. No, no, they're going to go through. And we will get to trace. So if we can survive here. We're in an okay place. We'll get this resed. But it brings us down quite low in credits. And they're going to access three. Which is not fantastic for us. But if it holds strong, this is a great R&D server for us. Well, there goes last Jackson anyway. So now we're... Doing it the hard way. And they draw three cards. So we have all the biotics in the world. Um, we could draw into a... Why aren't we engineering in the future? <laughs> it would make things so easy. Now, if we wait long enough... We might be able to fake this as an agenda. As in, we're doing that 50-50 decision between one, one and the other. Although, they are not getting in here anytime soon. Oh, if only, if they don't run...
we need a subliminal back. So we're hoping they take a setup turn. Data Sucker helps. And likely to be a run then. Probably HQ. At least then they can start uh, breaking these for just money, of which they have plenty. Okay, well, they missed uh, a pyotic labor then. So we unfortunately need credits. And we can't res this, so we have to take credits and next turn purge. If we had a lot of money, <laughs> we can actually triple biotic the global food out. But at the, this point in time, that seems a long way off. I mean, leave anything in here? Nope. But now Ichi is readily broken. So I think we have to actually purge. We can res this, purge, throw away the scarcity resources probably at this stage. Eli is a good one to hold on to just in case they trash something. And purge. So it keeps Data Sucker down, keeps the medium down. Gives them a free turn, but with Adana's campaign sticking down, that's not so bad. Certainly not as bad as it could have been. Aren't he starting to run low as well? So if they do get a good run at it, we could be in trouble. But at this stage, we're just kind of hoping to draw cards or draw to draw agendas that we can biotic out, and that's obviously something they're concerned about. Now, they're probably thinking, or probably wondering, how many biotics we have. All of the biotics is the answer, but not enough money to, to use them. Clone chip. I uh, see. Well, they can't snap parasite anything too soon. Not quite what we were hoping for. Um, do we bother? We could make them spend time, at least, and I think at this stage, time is one of those precious commodities for them, and for us. We need these clicks, we need to be distracting them from getting data suckers and medium tokens and parasites down. So if we can distract them with one run over here, we're in a much better place. Tough 
tough situation to be in for us. Um, it was the parasite. Trash paperclip. That makes sense. But they can't quite destroy it this turn. They could next turn. So how attached are we to it? Pretty attached. So they could run, run, and then run this, trashing it. That's not quite what we wanted to draw. So, what is the plan? So we need we need twelve for this alone, and we need five. So we need to ho hold on. We'll get up to 16, so we'll be one credit short. So maybe we just take money here. We... This is tough. If we install credit credit, we're up to 15. This will get us to 18. But if we have to res it, it's not good. So I think we're just taking money here. And kind of banking on triple biotic global food. Yeah, I think we have just... <laughs> Just enough to do it. No clot. This will be quite the conclusion. So they're going to blow this up. It doesn't look like they're going to trash the Ichi though. Or get through the Ichi I should say. Ah, David coming back out. That makes sense. So they'll see one, but we have the food that we need. They whiff. And I believe I'm, my maths are correct. 4, 8, 12. To get 4, 5, 6 clicks. Install this. Advance 5 times. And we just about survive, but that was quite the game. Really enjoyed that. Uh, you're in a tough spot with ice destruction, as I've said. But uh, yeah, that was quite the saga. Really enjoyed that. Medium was always a threat, especially with Obelus. But we kept this iced up really, really well, I think. Um, economy was touch and go, but in the end, just yeah, just got enough credits and managed to pull it out. So, very, very intense game. Really enjoyed it. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did.